Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to talk about three specific topics and information that I wanted to share with you guys. Starting with iOS 13 developer beta 6 and when we can expect Apple to release this software. Uh, we're close to having a shift on beta releases and we'll get to some of that information here in a few seconds. I also want to talk about Apple Card. It looks like Apple Card will be in our hands sooner rather than later. and. Will Apple be providing jailbroken iPhones to security researchers for a better security in iOS? Yes, that's sort of interesting. We'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Let's start. So iOS 13 developer beta 6, when can we expect the software? Well, if history is any indication, we've seen this happen with iOS 11, iOS 12, and hopefully now iOS 13 and developer beta 6. Apple at some point will be switching to releasing betas every single week at some point. Now with iOS 11 and iOS 12, this usually happened around beta 5 and beta 6, which we're at that point now for iOS 13. Now, if you do follow me here on the channel, you know that Apple has been releasing betas for iOS 13 every two weeks. So if Apple was to switch to a one week release cycle for betas today, later this afternoon, if you're watching this video earlier during the day, Apple will most likely release iOS 13 developer beta six. Now they do release today. Unfortunately, I will not be in studio. I have a family reunion that I have to attend, but I'll be back tomorrow to cover the software. However, iOS 13 developer beta six could be the tipping point where Apple switches to releasing betas every single week. Apple needs to ramp things up here in order to cover as much ground as possible to make iOS 13 a very stable release once it is released sometime in September. And my prediction on when this software will be released is either uh, September 19th or September the 20th. That's just my prediction on when we'll see this rolled out to the general public. So it looks like Apple has a little over a month here uh, to get this software polished up and ready for the public or a little over a month and a half so we'll have to wait and see if apple doesn't release anything today or tomorrow we'll definitely see a new beta on the 12th or the 13th of next week regardless so that is what we expect with ios 13 developer beta 6. now let's talk about apple card according to techcrunch earlier today apple had officially starting sending out invitations for a selected group of users to apply for apple card so if you click the notify me uh, button on apple's website to get notified when apple card uh, is available apple is starting to send out these invitations and notifications through the wallet application, according to TechCrunch, certain users are already capable of applying for Apple Card, as well as activating the Apple Card feature on their wallet. Now, this will require iOS 12.4 and above for you to be able to activate Apple Card. And uh, yes, it appears that Apple is sending out the invitations. This is a slow rollout, and Apple is definitely activated their website with Apple Card information and set up process how to activate and apply. I personally am not 100% sure as of yet yet if I want to apply for Apple Card, this is uh, a true real life changing experience, right? This is a real credit card. So this is something you really have to think about before you do apply. I'll link everything down below if you want to learn more information on Apple Card. And uh, yes, it looks like Apple is just ready to roll out Apple Card here. In the next couple of days, you might see your notification and prompt on the wallet application to activate Apple Card and apply for the physical card as well. And last but not least, I want to talk about Apple providing jailbroken devices to security researchers. This almost sounds unreal this almost sounds unlike Apple but last night according to Forbes on an article that I've read Apple will be providing as open source or jailbroken the devices to security researchers according to sources familiar with the matter we'll see this happened at the black hat conference in Las Vegas this Thursday so we'll know more information about this on August 8th where Apple's uh, head of security and engineering will be providing a talk titled Behind the Scenes of iOS and macOS Security. So a lot of interesting things happening in the security world for iOS and macOS. Definitely something very, very interesting. Now, Apple could be hiring or bringing into this team top names in the jailbreak scene. Now, we do not know exactly who is going to be working on this project, but we're talking big names like I Hate Snow, Luke Tedesco. We're talking Leon Chen from Kinlabs. Even team members of the Pangu team could be working with Apple 
into improving the security for iOS and Apple could be providing these devices, open source or uh, jailbroken devices to the security researchers so they can dig in through the memory and find vulnerabilities that could uh, affect the user, the end user, so Apple can patch this and improve the security for future iOS releases. So something definitely is definitely interesting, something definitely new in the world of Apple. And something that I wanted to side note here quickly, Leon Cheng had announced a little over three months ago that he will no longer be a part of Kin Labs and uh, that all good things must come to an end. Will he be taking on this new journey with Apple to improve the security of iOS? Personally, I think it's a good thing overall just because it keeps all of our devices more secure. We have experts uh, working on the security of iOS. Keep in mind, Apple now has the Apple card and everything in place, so security needs to be top notch. So it makes sense for Apple to bring these top notch independent security researchers uh, to the game here for iOS security and future security improvements for the software and the platform overall. So that is all interesting news, everything that I wanted to share with you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. If Apple releases iOS 13 developer beta 6, as I mentioned, I'll be covering the software tomorrow. I won't be in studio later this afternoon. And then we'll know for sure that we're back to a one week release cycle for betas. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.